Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create a program similar to the likes of Siri in Google Now, but this more a bit more basic. And this can be done without the need for any additional software, and can be done just through Notepad and Windows. And the result will be a script that reacts to your input. We will be using a batch file to run the script, and using Visual Basic to code the program. I decided to make this tutorial because I found that there was a lack of videos online on this kind of thing. And the full code for this will also be available in the description. So start by opening up a new notepad file. Now type at echo off colon start. And this is going to give us a starting point which we can refer to later in the script. Next, enter if not speech marks percentage line minimized percentage line speech marks equals equals speech marks speech marks go to colon minimized. Then set minimized equals true and start backslash min space cmd backslash capital c space speech marks percent sign tilde dpnx zero speech marks then go to colon eof then colon minimize then you want to type in colon process not found echo your program is not running so this is going to tell you that basically I can't find your program running so start it back up again then if speech marks percent sign out percent sign speech marks equals equals speech marks speech marks Siri dot PBS that Siri is what we're going to call our program and then go to search now type in capitals path equals and then put in where you're going to save your VPS file later on. So for me, I'm saving on my desktop, so I put in that. And then Siri.VPS is more than null. Then if in capitals error level 1 go to process not found. If it's not running, then go to process not found. But if it is, then next line, colon process found. So that means that it has found it and it is running. Then echo your program is running. Then go to start. And then type set in capitals out equals one. So it's gonna set the variable out to one. And then task kill slash f slash imcmd dot exe and then you can copy that three times and then if you change the second one to ws script and then the last one to notepad dot exe and what that does is going to force stop um, those three processes and that's how it's done with their batch file so if we save that um, just as program dot bat for batch uh, and then click save, and it says done that. Okay, so now into the Visual Basic file. So we start off the same by opening up Notepad. So now if you type dim ra, what that does is it declares the variable ra, and then on the next line, ra equals input box. Hello, how can I help you? Or whatever you want. Okay, and now we can type in the rest of our variables. So you can put a1 equals speech marks hi there. Oh, sweet marks. Um, so that means that when if you type in hi there then we can program it to give a certain response. Um, for this we'll also do what's the time, maths, and what type maths will do it will bring up a separate menu where you can do a calculation. Um, so and if you put in as extra variables um, the functions that you want to do so plus minus divide and times Okay, so now we can start adding in our if commands. So first one, if ra equals a1. So if you type in hi there, then message box, speech marks, hello to you too. And obviously you can put whatever you want here. Um, as a response, the computer will give you when you type in a1. Okay, and then else, in line, if ra equals b1, then message box now 
And what it now does is that gets the date and time from the computer, and then another else, and then the new line. If RA equals C1, then X equals input box, enter first value, F equals input box, input function, and Y equals input box, enter second value. And again, you can have whatever you want in the brackets. Um, this is going to come up um, after you type in maths. Now you want to type in A equals X times 1 and B equals Y times 1. And that makes sure that the, the values X and Y are actually numbers. And now for another if. If F equals C2, then C equals A plus B. And then message box C, comma, comma, the answer is. And what that's going to do is display a little message box with the variable C in it, which is going to be the answer. And then else after that. And now what we can do is just copy that um, and paste it again and change C2 to C3 and then change the plus to a minus. And then copy it again and you can change C3 to C4 and then change the minus to a uh, divide and then copy again and change it to C5 and then to times. Um, and then you can take away the else at the end there because that's what's done with our ifs. But when you're done with ifs, you have to remember to close this by saying end if. So because we have seven ifs open, you have to type in end if seven times. And then that's what's done with your VBS file. So we can just save it uh, and remember call it seri.vbs um, because that's what we had in our batch file. Okay, and now we've saved that, we can close it down um, and we can test it out. So remember and open the run, uh, and you can type in hi there. And that's going to come up back saying hello to you too. And then we can type in what we did was math. Um, so enter the first values, so let's say two, and then times, uh, and then ten. That's going to give us the answer is twenty. Uh, we'll do another one. Maths ten divided by three equals three point three three three. Um, so you can see it actually does the decimal place and all that for you. Um, and then we can do our last one. Um, what's the time? And it just comes up with the time. Okay, and that's what's done with that. So, hope you enjoyed watching. And as I said, the full code will be in the description, so you can go and check that out.